down here at Sugarloaf 2, which is technically closed. Um, picking table cleared off, shoveled it off, and uh, kind of go through. Got down here to camp. Um, this is a, a closed campground. Um, said nothing about not being able to use it in the winter, so I figured I'd go with it. Have a picnic table, fire pit over there. So I'm going to go through my winter setup. Um, basically, I pulled a pulk today, and you put, would pull the pulk. I got the um, the pulk poles from pulkpoles.com um, up there. You probably can't see it's out of the camera view. I've got my Osprey um, Exos 48 that I actually connect the pulk to. Um, and the only thing I keep in there is some snacks. It's to put my, you know, my clothes in. If I'm going to shed some layers, put some on. Um, anything I might need to get to, because normally this would be wrapped up in the, my old, uh, it's a bare butt tarp, but you, I used to use it for hammock camping when I first started. Um, and I wrap this up and I bungee quit everything in the pulk. Um, so what I do, though, is this is basically, I could grab this bag and go backpacking um, without the pulk. Everything I need to camp and, and hike is in this, this one bag. This is my winter bag. Um, and I do that so if I was ever to go somewhere with the pulk and couldn't get in all the way, I could put the pulk in the woods, leave the luxury items which are in this other bag, and head in with this. I'd have to, of course, leave the pulk, the bag, my other backpack behind, um, grab you know with the snacks and stuff out of that other backpack. So we're going to go through this winter bag. Um, Starting with the brain. Now, this pad, I hammock camp, so normally this pad would not be with me unless it's tenting. Um, I brought it to lay my gear out today. Um, it's a luxury item when when backpack, uh, when excuse me, when um, hammock camping, you can sit on it. You can use it as a couch. I've got my you know my other mini one. This one I always at least take. Um, I have a lighter weight, one of those, it just doesn't work, especially in the winter. So in the brain of this, I always keep keys, wire tied to the pack so they can't come out. Um, that way I never lose my keys, don't laugh, it's happened to friends. Most important thing, map, and of course we're in the PEMI, PEMI area, so it's the PEMI map. Hand warmers. Toe warmers, good, good thing to have winter camping. Nine times out of ten, I don't use these, um, except for sometimes in the morning. If it's really cold, I'll I'll get them started. I'll keep these in. I I sleep with this green bag here, which is where my camera gear would be when I'm hiking. I put anything that freezes in this bag and take it, and I wear it to bed and it keeps everything like my toothpaste, my uh, hand warmers, because you don't want these to freeze. Um, a little alcohol for my coffee in the morning. Um, all my batteries, my cell phone, everything like that would keep going here. I could keep it nice and warm. So these would get moved to my into this bag when I go to bed. So I got hand warmers. That's it in that part. Oops. My ditty bag, which we'll go through. Um, don't really need a deuce of spades this time of the year. It's still in here. I got to take it out. I got hand sanitizer, toilet paper, um, wet wipes. Those are the other thing you'll go in your bag because those will freeze solid. Um, my lighter, which is my toilet paper incinerary device. Um, so, in my ditty bag, I used to keep. This is some a lot of the stuff I used to keep in my side pocket. But because I swap packs all the time, I was forgetting stuff. Headlamp. That's a black diamond. Great. I highly recommend, it. before you buy a headlamp, buy one that locks. My Sawyer um, bag and cup to scoop with. That's the other thing that's in my bag. This, this bag, my uh, ribs bag, is my Sawyer water filter because that will freeze. I try not to filter water. We got plenty of snow, so we'll be melting snow this trip. Um, my first aid kit, which consists of some cash, credit card, doggy bags to pick up um, toilet paper, an extra flashlight, uh, band-aids, extra batteries, um, moleskin, which I've never used, but people have hiked with, Advil, Tylenol, um, all the good stuff. Anything I need, I, I know how to use is in that bag. Anything I don't know how to use, 
unless I'm hiking with someone, it isn't going to do me any good, so I don't bring it. little thing of glide, always good to have. So that's all I keep in that bag, and that will go from pack to pack, and that way I never forget it. Side pockets. A little bit of vodka. <laughs> um... Um, in the other side pocket, now normally that side pocket where the vodka would would be would be my micro spikes, but they're in they're in my other pack right now still because I'm gonna head up hiking in a minute, and uh, I have the Hill Sound Trail crampons. Don't let the name fool you; they're not crampons. Um, I'll show you the difference in a minute. Um, so in the other pocket, uh, I can get it out. Is MSR. Whisper light with the 350 to 325 mil um, fuel canister, and we'll show I'll, I'll show this in action later. Um, so it's basically a white gas stove works supposedly in any weather, Mount Everest weather, so we should be good for that. <clears throat> okay, this pack has pockets. Um, so I plan on having a fire. Got the old uh, Laplanda. I've tried the Silky Boy. It worked worked well, but I broke the blade and to replace the blade was as much as replacing the whole saw. This thing's like 12 bucks. My son has one. I've used it many times. Well, his many times. Works great. So I just went with a $12 saw. I figured if I'm going to break them once a year, I'll just buy a new one once a year. Uh, my bushcraft knife is just a cheap one. I think it was like 15 bucks. So you can, well, you probably not, can't see because not zoomed in, but the blade looks like heck because I split wood with it. Pitch mostly on there. Well, that's everything in that pocket. Oh, and normally this shovel goes right in here. And then this goes down. If you're winter camping, this is a necessity almost. I mean, I couldn't imagine. I've seen people use snowshoes. I just bring the shovel. It weighs a pound. I know it's a little bit extra weight. If I was going to do some major miles, I might leave it behind. But um, So in the other pocket, identical to that one, my hammock gear, four-season Cuban fiber tarp. Weighs 10 ounces with everything. Great tarp. Um, so, and then um, basically in, let's go to the bottom. In the, oops, in the bottom of the pack, I keep clothes. This is all, I got extra socks in here. I'm not going to break it open because I don't want it to get wet. I got socks, uh, extra pair of medium base layers. So if I got really wet or cold, I could put those on. Um, I've got, because I'm can't sleeping out, I got an extra shirt. Um, some, they're, they're, under Armour running pants. They're really warm. They're synthetic, like basically synthetic sweatpants. Um, I, those are in here. Uh, and then I have my face mask in here. Um, I don't have any goggles with me, which I normally would be also be found in this bag because my, uh, I spent the night up at a house in Bethel with my daughter and her kids and her husband and my son and my son and my son-in-law went, um, snowboarding up the Sunday River today and he, Jamie didn't have goggles so I lent him my goggles because I knew I wouldn't need them today but I usually always bring goggles with me in the winter even if I know I'm not going to be above tree line hammock my netless hammock gear um hammock excuse me let me try that one more time my netless Dutch wear hammock um along with a winter sock which I'll show you and in here I keep my bear line it, basically, it's the same setup as in my 20 degree um, pack video. Um, so I'm not going to open that up right now, but that's basically all my hardware and everything winter sock, hammock, all in there. So let's get down to the main pocket. And I'll put a link on the bottom to the weights on everything. Um, they're pretty, pretty lightweight as far as concerned, I guess. Um, you know, most people probably, but, okay, food bag, lots of food, be well, I got lots of food because I'm out here for lunch, dinner, and probably breakfast, and, um, and also in here is my cook pot too, but I'll, I'll open that up, let's see, okay. 
so my toothpaste is in here and toothbrush, but that toothpaste is going to go in my pack or because it's freezing already. My coffee, some tea. For dinner, I've got um, baked beans and mashed potatoes that I make myself. Some snacks, dates, um, my little, which is frozen. That's got to also go in my ribs pack because this freezes. Um, this is, uh, I don't use this much in the winter, but it's uh, Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. <laughs> More tea. Tea's always good to have in the winter. Some um, Propel. Oh, there's a snack in there too. Little packets of nuts. Light my fire, medium weight spork. It's a heavy duty one or whatever they call it. Don't buy the light ones, they break. Um, ooh, smoke flavored almonds. Awesome. Too good. Actually, I'm going to have a couple of those. <laughs> So, now that I'm chewing in your ear, okay, this is brand new. This is the Tokes 1600 milliliter. So this is the Tokes 1600 milliliter. Um, with the flat cover it has I don't remember what they call this handle I have this on my 1100 I didn't like it so I pulled it off it always seemed to get in the way it scraps a little weight too um, but if you watched my winter videos last year you would have seen a similar pot which is this one right here now normally I wouldn't bring both of these I brought these some extra gear today for this video so, oh, look, my, that's my 1100. Um, so I got 1100. This is a 1600 also with the frying pan cover. I hate this thing. Hate it. This handle doesn't work worth a crap. It, I mean, you try to pick it up, it, <laughs> um, it, it, I tried frying an egg in it one time. Unless you use lots of oil or something, it, titanium just doesn't work for that. Um, I tried just finding a cover for it. I found it a while ago and I didn't order it. Now I can't find one. So basically, I just wanted to get a cover. I can't get that off. My hands are so numb. It's five degrees out right now, if you're wondering. Um, I just wanted a cover for it. Couldn't find one, so I ended up buying a whole new one. So this is getting retired. Or I'll probably put it on Amazon, uh, eBay or something. But they're the same pot, basically, except for flat, better cover. This one falls off. doesn't stay on. Never had from the day I bought it. I hated this thing. So it was good for scooping snow. I got to give it that. That's about all it was good for. But like I said, I only brought it to show an example. So this 1100, I, I don't, normally don't bring in the winter either. Just the different pots that I have. They're all Tokes. Tokes hasn't let me down other than that cover. So this is my normal one. And the reason I bring such a big one in the winter is melting snow. Um, I tried melting snow in the 1100 and my 750, and it is useless. <laughs> it just doesn't work. So here's my thrown-together quickly koozie, cozy, whatever you want to call it. Um, my, so I use that for, this is my 750. my 750 which I'd use to rehydrate my food I can't find the cover I don't know what I did with it I'll probably find it in a weird spot so I made this top usually I don't use the top I just throw the cover on it so I'll just heat my food and water up put my dehydrated food in there and then let it sit and then eat then of course my 450 tokes coffee cup Use this for everything from drinking booze to drinking coffee in the morning. Um, you know, if you watch my other 20 degree one, my one time, whoops, I'm backwards. My one time uh, coffee filter, just fill that with uh, a little bit of coffee, nice dark roast coffee, and filter some coffee and have a great cup of coffee in the morning. 
of course my fancy feast um, I have to keep this alcohol in my in my ribs pack keep it warm so it'll work in the morning because alcohol will not work when it's freezing um, light my fire striker knife my fancy feet stove so uh, that's basically my cook kit my food bag okay hard shell if I have this on it is either windy <laughs> wet out <laughs> or I'm desperate I hate hard shells I wear the soft shell where it's great the only problem with it is it freezes in the morning because it lets the sweat out and I sweat in the winter believe it or not and then when I wake up in the morning it's frozen solid but if I could start a fire in the morning I'll thaw it out my puffy never leave without home without that even in the summer a lot of times well not dead summer but um, I always take that with me I love that jacket it's from good insurance and da -da -da -da. Which I can't get them all at the same time this is my zero degree hammock gear econ I have the eco econ quilt um, I'm not sure if that's the top quilt or under quilt the zeros are so big that I actually need to put them in two stuff sacks um, I can get my 20s in one of these my 40s I could probably get a couple sets of them in one of these bags so in the winter time obviously I, it takes up a little bit more room that's this pack looks huge but it's really not that heavy um, I, I actually will put it the weight I have my scale somewhere if it works but it's so cold it might not work so that consists of everything in my pack that I would need to go backpacking, except for my, like I said, my micro spikes are in there, a couple snacks, um, my spare gloves. Those would all be in this pack. Um, oh, and water. <laughs> this water uh, I hang from, I actually put it through the belt now so I can get it while I'm hiking, and I heat this up. Um, I usually, when I start, I'll fill this half full of cold water, boil water, half of it, and fill it up halfway. And as you can see inside, the uh, little sippy thing fell through. And then when you we, you put it in here, it, you push it in, put it upside down. So if it ever froze, which it will, whoops, which it will freeze, um, it will freeze on the bottom, well, the top, which is actually the bottom. So I carry two of these. I have the other ones on my other pack still. I put one in, in it somewhere and so I have enough water. Okay. Now off to the luxury items now. Butt sleds. Lightweight. Fast. Weighs about a pound. Super fast. Depending on how fast you are and feeling or how crazy you're feeling, which one you pack. Both come from L.L. Bean. These come two to a pack. You have to buy two. You buy these, you come three. This one came from my friend Dolores. Um, that's why it says Queen Bee says ha 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 because we call her Queen Bee. And she's always laughing when she's hiking. So it was a joke when I did a backpacking trip. Actually, she wasn't even with me. Um, I got that sled from her because I let her use my pulk when she went to Baxter. So that is the Queen Bee sled. Okay, luxury item, believe it or not, well, for some it's probably a necessity, ski pants, insulated ski pants. These things weigh a pound, that's why they're a luxury item. I bring them when I have my pulk. If I don't have my pulk, I probably won't bring them. Um, my moon lance, lint, or whatever, seat, which I don't need this time because I have the, uh, what do you call it, picnic table. I did a review on this. This thing's great. I think I paid like 35 bucks for it off Amazon. Only goes with me too if I have the polk. These go back and forth between a luxury item or not. These are these are down booties. I probably, I've only used them once. Um, I was winter camping last year. It was a cold one. And my underquilt, when it was before I started using a netless uh, hammock, my underquilt got hung up on one of the little I don't even know what they're for on the Dutch chameleon. And it was letting cold air in. And I didn't know it until I broke it down. Actually, I was doing the bonds in the winter. And um, 
so I put these on and my feet stayed nice and toasty warm all day. So these could be a lifesaver, you know. Um, I know a lot of people that this is standard equipment. I pack them sometimes and sometimes I don't. Used them once. My, well, scale. That's probably not going to work because it's so cold. High Hiker Lamp. I uh, did a review on a two-person synthetic sleeping bag and it came with a free led lantern so i'm gonna be in style tonight with this because i usually don't have any type of lamp light other than my headlamp this isn't a luxury item this is a safety item if you need it um i don't carry this with me unless i know i'm gonna need crampons I'll side by side if i was gonna go do katahdin maybe any one of the probably northern prezies these two items would probably go with me um you know, but today, well, when I'm hiking, not going to need them. I only brought them to show in the video. Ooh. Okay, another luxury item, which you can't let freeze. Funky Bow G-String Pale Ale. Best beer in the world right here. Right from Maine. Uh, oh, where is it? <laughs> Down the street from my house, kind of. But anyways... Potato chips. <laughs> yes, luxury item. <laughs> um, here's what I'll bring in the winter too if I'm doing multiple days. It's basically the same as that, except for bigger. This one is 509, 591 milliliters, and this one is 325 milliliters. Got plenty of fuel this weekend. <sighs> Some ramen for lunch, which this isn't really a luxury item. I just bought it at the store on my way here and threw it in here. Okay, now if I was tent camping, this is a, because I sleep with really use a quilt, so my air mattress gets I'm directly on the air mattress, so this is just a cheap Ozark Trail, um, pa uh, what do they even call it? it they call, I think it's supposed to be a sleeping bag liner, but I pull it over my air, my air mattress, so I'm not laying directly on my air mattress. Oh, no. And this isn't a luxury item. These would be my pack. I didn't need them because the road was pretty well broken. Um, snowshoes in here. I have the MSR. MSR Lightning Ascents. Um, when I bought these, they were only 150 bucks, but I saw that they've gone up, oop, they've gone up to about $200. So, um, And then... My signature poles, these ones are brand new, second time out. They're Cascade Mountain Tech aluminum poles. I don't do the carbon fiber. Um, these things are last. They're not the lightest, but they're good, and they cost about 22 bucks from Amazon. So that is basically everything that I have for to survive a negative five night. Um, like I said, some things are luxuries and some things aren't. I have to get my gloves back on because my hands are frozen solid. So anyways... That is it basically concludes this video. If you want a better uh, breakdown of this stuff, watch my 20 degree um, video. It has, I, I went through everything because it was a lot warmer that day. <laughs> I, went, I took everything out and went through everything. So watch that too. Basically, there's just a few extra items here. Uh, you know, shovel, crampon, snowshoes, stuff like that. Zero degree quilts over 20. So check that out. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know that everybody, you know, appreciates these videos and I'll keep making them. So I'll see you guys on the trail.